Hallelujah, hallelujah, saints of God. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another segment of what God placed on my heart. I am your big brother, as always, passed off to Pastor A. Hallelujah, and I got a good topic for you today. What God placed on my heart. Mm, yeah. <laughs> hallelujah, as always, we're going to always give honor to God, the Holy Trinity, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as always. Father God, right now, we just honor you. We love you. We usher you in. You are here right now. Your precious presence is here. You are in the atmosphere. Hallelujah. An atmosphere of praise and worship. We honor you, Father God. We love you so very much. Thank you for coming to visit with us right now. Thank you so very much. Lord Jesus, thank you for being here with us. Elder brother, thank you for your precious blood that you spill for us. Thank you. We love you so very much, Lord Jesus. Holy, Holy, Holy Spirit, thank you for doing these steps of play. Allow us to speak with the tongue to learn. Use us. Use us. Speak through us. Thank you for being a true comfort. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray and lift the Trinity up right now. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, saints of God. Listeners, got a treat for you. Hallelujah. In a couple segments, we probably go through. Oh, we're speaking about the supernatural today. Hallelujah. I repeat the supernatural. We're going to speak about today. Um, we're just going to touch on it a tad bit. Um, this is something near and dear to my heart. Is the supernatural. Um, had a beautiful experience in 2007 with an awesome visitation from the Lord. Hallelujah. Of the precious Holy Spirit coming into my room like a rushing wind. I spoke about this a little bit in season one. Hallelujah. This is season two. And um, to just go just a smidgen uh, more in depth on my visitations, um, just seeing things of the martial law coming um, before Facebook. Um, before I had a Facebook, God showed me that I was going to be connected back with a lot of people from my past in these visitations. A lot of um, not super spooky, hallelujah, because the supernatural is not super spooky but it is super holy and super amazing and super awesome hallelujah um so what that said is god showed me a whole lot of things throughout that season in my life and in those visitations will stay with me until i go home hallelujah also supernatural dreams um i have that's that's constantly hallelujah that's that's all the time that's at least that's every week that God is showing me different things about somebody or some situation or something. But um, the supernatural is a beautiful thing to um, be involved with by the precious Holy Spirit. I always remember that um, the psychics and the mediums, people like that, and I love them. I thank God for their life, but I don't agree with um you know, how they do stuff. And I want to say that because I don't want people to get it twisted of when we speak about the supernatural. They may, you know, ask me a question about psychics and do, you know, do I, you know, deal with, nah, that's the spirit of divination. And I'm putting that out there like that. We're speaking about prophetic things, things of God, supernatural things that only come by the Holy Spirit and by um, God's presence and his power. Hallelujah. So you, that's how you discern that type of stuff like that. Um, but just to touch on it a tad bit, because it is something that, um, a lot of people are intrigued by. They are intrigued by the supernatural, the miracles of God. Um, like I am fortunate to, um, operate in the prophetic. I am very fortunate to operate in a, a office of a dreamer. I have dreams, like I said, like constantly. God can show me different things at any time of the day. Um, prophetic signs, I'm not going to get into that all the way in depth because, like I said, <laughs> this is just what God places on my heart for these small amount of uh, minutes that we have with each other. But it'll be more in depth with more teaching, more to come in the future. But I'm fortunate to go to a, a, a awesome church and be under awesome leadership that operates in science, miracles and wonders. Hallelujah. So, yeah, it, it's um, 
so amazing how some people don't believe in the supernatural. But it is totally more real than the realm that we are living in, in the natural realm. I say again, the supernatural is more realer than the natural realm that you actually see with the naked eye. The supernatural is so awesome. And when you, uh, when God gives you this precious opportunity to give you like an out of body experience or God can show you something supernatural in the natural. When God hands is on it, I can always guarantee you this is going to, it's going to witness to you through the Holy Spirit and God. Like when God gave me these beautiful visitations, he told me, don't be afraid. That's why I said it. it's not super spooky. Hallelujah. It is supernatural. The supernatural is not super spooky. It is a God. And when God does something, he has a beautiful essence and a way of doing it. And he allows you to feel him, feel his comfort, feel his might, feel his strength, his love. All it is all at the same time. So that's just a tad bit of my experience with the supernatural. It is highly encouraged that if you know God call you to the prophetic and that's your office, that you study books on the supernatural, study other holy men and women of God that deal with the prophetic and really get an understanding on what God is saying to his people through that office you want to always keep your gift sharp and what i mean by that is 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 the essence is the basics is fasting praying hallelujah staying in the presence of god staying in your word reading constantly loving on god staying intertwined with the holy spirit is is a constant as a constant prayer hallelujah and that's just what god has given me it's a constant prayer when you a prophet, uh, you constantly talk to God. You constantly, it's constant. It's a constant flow. It's a constant, you asking God and God is telling you, hallelujah. It's a constant, it's a constant conversation. That's the best way I can describe it. And the supernatural plays in of like, it's just, I have to do another segment and I'm going to do another one after this. It's just so awesome how God will just give me and I'm just speaking on my experiences, just like supernatural things all the time. Just like, here you go. I can actually talk to God in my spirit and I can ask the Lord, Lord, I want to see this. And God will supernaturally show it to me in the natural. <laughs> it show me supernaturally supernaturally in the natural and that's why i said i do not play with god's people i don't play with god i take god serious i take his people serious i know when you look at this video you go back and look at my archives hallelujah that's all i can say with that my track record i take god serious and i just love god hallelujah and i thank god for my spiritual parents i want to always give honor to them we call them the generals hallelujah but they operate in <laughs> like I never seen before. And I'm just, I just thank God for their life. But I'll be <laughs> on here again. Hallelujah. That's all I got to say. This is part two. I'm coming with part two right now. I love you. God bless you. Thank you for listening in. This has been Arthur Morris Ministries. As always, to see your big brother past all the past. A, I salute you and I honor you. Thank you for your precious listening in. We honor you. God bless you.